a 22 or 8 or as it is a 28 26 motor leaves plenty of space for uh, in the respect uh, nose with a 38 millimeter spinner this motor is fine on 2s it draws over 30 about 31 32 amps of full throttle with a 10 by 6 inch folding cum carbon prop with a thir the 38 millimeter spinner however it is not a rocket and it's a 45 gram motor spec for uh, 16 amps pulling double that through it isn't just efficient so i have 69.4 grams for the motor and the 30 amp multistar esque 29.3 gram for the spinner and the blaze uh, a th typically a 1300 or a 1700 2S battery due to COG issues I needed to get it a little bit more forward so I typically fly with a 1700 that's why I'm looking to get uh, a little heavier motor with a little lighter battery and get the same effect Let <laughs> Okay, so that was, um, um, let's see, 212 amper, milliampere hours with a peak current of um, 29.7 amps, so almost 30 amps, uh, leaving us then with an 8.05 volt battery voltage. Um, yeah, and a peak watt of 216 watts with the same. Uh, 10 point uh, 10 by 6 uh, carbon cam prop um, the motor is is warm it's not scorching hot but bearing in mind that these um, aluminum flanks act as cooling veins but it's not an issue to hold on the ESC is barely warm the battery is uh, a little bit warm but nothing more than that Now the same test with a, a Roxy uh, 1450 kV motor, still 45 grams, I think this is called a 2826 slash something with a uh, 850 mAh 3S battery at 70C. Let's see. Something was definitely overheating here. I hope it's not the motor. No, oh, it's warm. It's warmer than the other one. The battery is still okay. Uh, definitely more thrust, more power. But will it last? Not really sure. Testing now with a bigger uh, XM2834 CA7, a 1250 kV motor with a, a higher power rating. Uh, now it's a fully charged uh, 850 mAh 3S uh, 70C battery. We still have the same 30 amp Multistar esque. Okay, that was some serious power compared to the old one.
So let's see how much power it draws when we get to 900 grams of pulling power. Okay, so it's 16 and a half amps and that's pretty much uh, the optimum power point. So the power that we were able to drive with the previous uh, motors at full power, we get now at uh, two-thirds and uh, this is going to be good for cruising around, it's uh, equivalent to the weight of the plane. But then so eCalc predicts that this will give me nine, nine and a half meter per second race, where the old system gave me 4.7, 4 about 5 at the max meter per second um, ascent. So should make it uh, double the, the vertical speed 